On this episode, we treat the bed, paint it, and we get the old girl up and running. There may have been a small electrical fire. Stay and find out. straight to work but uh set around from napa get a few parts <clears throat> and ended up getting lunch while i was out because i didn't feel like because uh, i was being lazy and i hadn't had mcdonald's i was trying to think of it on the way home in like six months to a year and i up there got a six-piece nugget and small fry and it was good, but totally not worth it. Um, uh, hold me off for another six months to a year, hopefully. As you can see behind me, I've got the bed inside now. Um, brought the bed inside. Front fenders still sitting where they were. Got the hood inside, sprayed everything with Osfo last night to treat it. But I'm not real focused on this yet. I actually wanted to try and get this up and going first. So ran all of my spark plug wires, cleaned all of this up. Um, just been tidying everything up, putting all the electrical lines on, alternator, plugging everything in back there near the firewall trying to keep it as neat as possible for what I have anyway. So I got all this up. This is just the front harness for the lights and everything. I have it draped over the fire firewall for now until I get the front end on. This is the hood release. So trying to doll everything up in here to figure out what I have left to like get the truck running. Um, I've got this one little connection here to make the fuel line, I was gonna to try to put a inline filter in here, which is what I went up to get at Napa, which I think I'm gonna to have to actually loop it to get it to work, unfortunately. But for now, I would like to run a fuel filter since I've kind of disturbed everything in the system and that way hopefully it'll catch anything before it goes to this ancient carburetor that hopefully still works. So I'll throw you up so you can watch uh, some of this piddling and hopefully we can uh, fire it up here soon. Got a few other parts to grab off the old truck. Still have to get the shifter plate inside the cab. There was one other thing I was just thinking about when I walked up. Uh, a couple things actually. I know I need to steal the spring off the door on the other truck because this one broke. So this door just closes by itself now, which is a pain in the butt. But I've got one sitting out there. I just need to go get it. Um, what was the other thing I needed to grab? Well, I don't know what it was, but it must have obviously been important. So at Napa, just picked up a bunch of small stuff. Hose clamps, fuel filters, more hose clamps, some miscellaneous parts that nobody accounts for, but cost a fortune. This was 10 bucks. I think this was like $8.99, but I'm out. I need to replenish it. And uh, some fuel line. That's what it was. Um, I got the fuel line to run the vent on the gas tanks. And then here's some fuel line for that fuel filter. So let's get started. <clears throat> Time for a little field trip to the spare parts yard. I do eventually plan on cleaning up, but I didn't want to throw anything away yet until I got this project pretty much wrapped up. Got the radiator out of the old truck out here. From what I remember, it was fine. <clears throat> and the radiator that came out of the blue truck definitely wasn't fine. So. 
I'm going to hopefully use the radiator out of this one, at least for the time being. And if there's anything wrong with it, of course I could replace it, but I think it's fine. I don't remember having any issues with it. it doesn't look like it's been leaking or nothing. <clears throat> so I guess I'll just take this piece off and it should slide out. Got you hooked on to my radiator right now, but did some good picking. It's a good thing I didn't throw that crap away. Got a radiator, got a lower mount with a shift boot. It goes. Let's go see if we can refurbish some more stuff. Okay, I found an electrical issue. Jeez, my heart's pumping now, brother. Dang on. Woo! All right. Time to reassess and maybe grab the fire extinguisher. Something down in here at the starter uh, is not happy. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but yep, something uh, something's touching it should. All right, let's do some investigating and see what the problem was. key on bump it bump it one more time all right try it there's no pressure on that gauge right when you crank when you crank it that's good it means it's building pressure Try it again. Good morning. 
They're probably a little confused because I didn't go into it yesterday. But um, the electrical issue that I had on the truck was, uh, I'll show it to you here in just a second. The starter wire bundle that goes around the back side of the engine has this little metal uh, uh, routing container to go around the headers to keep it away from the heat I'm assuming and to keep all the wires together where well, there's a little tiny open piece of wire that was in contact with that piece of metal so it was just immediately grounding out when I finally got the battery hooked up and um, of course went straight to ground and started smoking and was starting to burn that wire up so <clears throat> That was the issue as far as the electrical goes. Um, I tried cranking it a few times. I know the battery is dead and it wasn't cranking very well, but I wanted to see a little bit of oil pressure on the gauge. So wife was in there and she said it started to come up a little bit, which is perfect. Um, I'll take you off the stand here in a second and show you what I got so far. So I just switched gears yesterday and started treating some of the corners of the bed a little bit better with some rust. Um, oxidizing whatever spray paint so it can get further into the panel than I can get into. Uh, this morning I was out here and put new uh, holes in the belt. Half my belt's already broken off. Uh, this is where I was not too long ago and I'm steady putting more holes in it so that's good. Hopefully I can continue on this downward trend. Alright, let's get started this morning I'll show you what I got. Okay, the electrical issue from yesterday, hopefully you can see it. That's the metal that comes around the inside of the header. And then there's a little tiny exposed wire right there. I've got it pulled forward now, but that metal and that exposed wire were touching. So that was the issue from yesterday. Over here, I went through and used that really thin spray to uh, spray in all the spots that I couldn't quite paint into, which is what I'm going to do this morning. But got all those corners and everything just with what I had. So I'm going to use some more of the paint that I used on the frame and underneath the cab to hopefully keep that from getting any worse. That was a lot of painting. Painstaking, slow paint. But I think it was worth it. Not everything's treated and painted underneath the bed. Looking a lot uh, better than it did before. Might even get in here after I put the bed on the truck and do the same thing to the floor. But we'll see. That's the uh, bed for now, so I'm going to leave it for now. And I'm going to switch back to trying to get this thing to... I mean, if it runs, great, but really I'd like to um, fix that electrical wire and then 
at least cranking it enough to build some fuel pressure. That way I can make sure I got no leaks in the fuel system, build some oil pressure, you know, all that good stuff. And if it pops off, even better. Okay, I've got the battery hooked up this time. No electrical fires. That's good. Everything seems to be fine. I've got power. Hopefully this battery doesn't have a dead cell. Get ready to find out. Hoping to get some fuel up here without it leaking everywhere. So let's give it a try. Alright, so I got some juice now. I'm gonna reassess everything. Doesn't look like I've got fuel yet. I don't smell anything burning. It's a good sign. Got fuel. It's none of this emissions crap that's holding me back. I'm not getting a whole lot of fuel up here like I was before. Let's try some go go juice. See if I can get started. Maybe too much. Great success. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that's been the process so far. Um, next video, I'm going to lay the bed down, get it out of the way, and pull the front end back onto the lift maybe, so I can get to it and actually weld in the new panels. So the next big steps, the front end, and getting it back on the chassis. And then if my rag joint for the steering comes in, maybe we'll drive it around the yard, take the first maiden voyage. All right, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.